So I decided to actually make a part two to my first video, which was trying to find a way to be able to use uh, splitting the name into first name and last name using Integromat. But what I found was, although people may have two names, they may actually put in um, their middle name, which can cause an issue as well as the issue where someone didn't just put their first name, they put their first and last name. And when you're dealing with your CRM, you want to be able to collect that information and put it into the proper place. So what I've been able to do in Integromat is use an if statement to check whether or not there is a third um, value or third string within the separated space uh, with a, where it's separated with the space. So if it's not, then you want to use the second uh, element to be able to use as your last name. So let me show you really quickly what I'm doing here. Um, if you see right here where I got a variable and this is var underscore last name and that could be anything. But basically I'm checking with this function if empty. So if empty, if there is no third name, meaning if there are no the third piece of string that's separated by a space, then what I want to do, I want to get the second element that was passed with the parameter that was uh, achieved by using the space separator. And I'm going to use that as my value for the var underscore last name. So before I wasn't using variables in the video um, previously. And in this one, I decided to actually just use two variables when I actually get those parameters passed back from the API, from the webhook. And basically, I'm set, setting the first name based on the information in the first element using the split function. And in the last name, I am collecting, checking to see whether or not if the third uh, element is, uh, if it's empty, then I'm going to use a second. If not, I'm going to use um, the third. That will let me know that someone put in first, middle, and last name. So let me know if this is helpful for you. I'm actually going to copy the code for you and put it on my website with the blog post. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me.